What's poppin' game? Today I'm gonna to be showing you five different ways to fix a vocal in Isotopes RX10. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. Also, go ahead and check out the musicgang.com. That's my personal website where you can get free stuff like templates to download, loop kits you can download for free, and also if you need help with mixing and mastering, there's templates in there that you can download and get a better recording in a short amount of time. Also, if you want me to mentor you and help you with YouTube or mixing and mastering, go ahead and join my mentorship class where we can meet up once a week and talk about those issues you may be having and fix them and figure out ways to help you get a better result. Isotope just released a new plugin, RX10, and there are multiple different ways you can use this plugin to fix your vocals, regardless if you're doing like a voiceover or you're recording a new song. If you want to get this plugin, link in the description, go ahead and cop this ASAP. And you can use this plugin in pretty much any DAW, FL Studio, Logic, Pro Tools, any DAW. Now what you could do is open this plugin regular, just like every other plugin. I recommend that you actually open it in Audio Suite and affect the actual file and then you can go ahead and add your other plugins like that later on in the mixing process. So let's go ahead and do that and highlight the actual sound and go to Audio Suite and then go to Isotope and then go to RX10 Connect. So let's just use RX10 Connect. So this will actually open the whole entire plugin into a different program. And then once you're done with all your editing, you can save and render that edit into the actual file. Once you have this pop up, go ahead and click on send and that'll actually open up the actual separate application that you can use and make all your edits. So this is the sound right here. Let's go ahead and hear it real quick. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. Now this recording wasn't recorded in the best situation. You know what I'm saying? I recorded it next to like my fridge and stuff like that, just so you can hear how better we can make this thing sound. So let's go ahead and open up the D-Hum plugin right here. As soon as you open it up, you wanna like actually highlight an area and click on learn so it can learn what are those areas that you wanted to fix. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then once you're done, click on render. So let's click it a few times, one more time. So let's click on it a few times. All right, so let's go ahead and hear it. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. Now, if you really listen, and make sure you're listening on good headphones because you can really tell there was some stuff that we actually removed and it worked. So let's go back real quick. And you can really tell that I did something to it because this is the normal file right here. If you look at all the, the orange part, that's where the actual sound is. And if you click where I did the edit, you can see exactly there is a change going on, especially at the bottom here. You know, there's a lot of those frequencies there that are getting removed. And you know, you can flip back and forth between your edits by using this history section down here. And that's when you can move around and see, you know, if you're actually making a change or not. So the next tip I recommend using with RX10 is using deplosives. Maybe sometimes, you know, you're using a microphone and you know, you get those P's and those B's in there and it's really sharp sometimes. And using the deplosive setting, you can really take those out and get a nice cleaner sound. So let's go ahead and use uh, the deplosives right here. Once you open up the deplosive setting, you can actually choose where you want the plugin to actually start working. So right now it's set to like 200. You can see where the exactly where the plosives are by looking at those bursts of like red oranges and stuff like that. That's where like I'm, I, I do have a plosive and that's kind of like right there. If you look at the line, here's another set of frequencies right here and it's kind of hitting around 300 Hertz. So let's go ahead and change this to 300. And then let's go ahead and click on render. And now you can see those plosives that are being taken care of. So now let's go ahead and hear it. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. And now let's hear what it sounded like before. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. Depending on your recording situation, you might really need this plugin to really help get a cleaner sound. The next thing you wanna do is hit that like button gang because it helps out with the channel. The next one you wanna use is called Mouth D Clicks and that's a really great plugin just to get some of those clicks and stuff like that out of your vocals. Maybe it's too harsh in your situation. Um, you know, maybe it's annoying and you know, taking these frequencies out can actually make you get a cleaner sound. And you can really hear exactly what mouth clicks and stuff like that you're taking out by hitting this preview button and then clicking output clicks only. So let's do that real quick.
Okay, so you heard that right there. So those frequencies might get annoying in my vocal. And before you hit render, make sure you turn this output clicks only off. So let's hear with the edits and all that turned off and then let's turn it back on so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. Now on. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. So that's pretty good right there. So now, you know, you might wanna use that vocal right there and, you know, put in some real effects and stuff like that, like compression, EQ, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, let's just take it a little bit further because. You know, I just want to show you five different ways you can use RX-10 to clean up your vocals and get a better sound. So the next thing you can do is click on the repair assistant. So let's click on that right now. Before you even start doing anything, it's called repair assistant for a reason because it can assist you in making some really neat edits to get you a cleaner sound. So let's go ahead and click on learn. And now it's going to render and use advanced algorithms and machine learning to figure out how it can make my vocal sound even more cleaner. As you can see, it's already done here and it made a few different edits here and adjustments to the vocal that I have in this particular situation. So let's go ahead and hear it bypass and then after that, I'm gonna turn the plugin on so you can hear exactly what it did. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. And you can turn on and off each one of these effects by clicking on this button right here and see what exactly what it sounds like. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. You better give me some courtesy. I'm gonna do this for eternity. Collecting the money, new currency. That president's called the emergency. So, so far, I, I feel like this sounds really, really great. I like how it sounds. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. It's module chain. So if you wanna use module chain, which is another new feature in RX10, you go over here to this section, we have all the effects, and then you see module chain right here. And you can click on this at the top, right? And then scroll down and you have different situations that will help you in your needs. Say you're recording in your bedroom and you're doing a podcast or a song, or you just want some like basic vocal cleanup. I think this is a really great option if you're a beginner or if you're advanced so you can take a lot of those frequencies and stuff like that that makes your recording sound bad and make them sound a whole lot better if you want to get this plug in link in the description go ahead and cop this asap this is a must need for people who definitely need this type of plugin to make their vocals sound a whole lot cleaner also go ahead and check out the musicgang.com that's my personal website where you can get free stuff like templates to download and also loop kits you can download for free and also if you need help with mixing and mastering there's templates in there that you can download and get a better recording in a short amount of time also if you want me to mentor you and help you with youtube or mixing and mastering go ahead and join my mentorship class where we can meet up once a week and talk about those issues you may be having and fix them and figure out ways to help you get a better result. Let me know what other videos you want to see with me using RX10. You guys stay safe. Peace.